Hey guys, uh, just giving you a quick update as to what's happening in the life of the church this month, the month of March. And we want to begin with the whole situation in the Ukraine. Obviously, it's a very, very sad situation uh, in what has continued to unfold. And as well as sending finance over there, which is helping so many people in very, very practical ways. So thanks to all of you that have uh, given in the process of doing that. We're going to continue just giving to people right on the ground, both in the Ukraine. There's still a network of people that can get finance to each other and able to buy things, but also on the borders where many, many people are obviously going into other nations and, and contacts that we have there. So finance is getting into those situations just to help people when they arrive in another nation in terms of accommodation, in terms of food and and whatever they're gonna need. So we wanna just give a big thanks to all of you that have been giving, but also to continue praying uh, for that whole situation, for it to be nullified, for it to cease, for this whole thing to come to an end, uh, for the protection of people. Uh, God is there, many miracles uh, are taking place in terms of people's lives being spared in different ways. Uh, so let's just continue praying uh, for the people, for this situation to 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 come to an end, and and uh, and for God to move in that nation, but also pray for the people in Russia as well. Many people really don't want this uh, war and what is taking place, and we want to pray for the people of Russia that there is literally like a modern day revolution of people, not not war in that nation, but people rising up, saying we want to change, and and that's a huge challenge in those situations but let's just continue to pray shall we for both nations and particularly the nation of ukraine and the people that are really going through a life-changing scenario uh, that none of us could really understand unless you're in the middle of it so father we just pray that you move in people's lives your protection and and you reunite families where they've been torn apart you protect those that are not together those who have stayed behind to, to stand for their nation and protect their nation those that are going to other nations, you protect their travels and just oversee people's lives at, at this time. And we just thank you, Father, where people are going to be so full of trauma that you'd be their peace, their health, their healing, just in the midst of the tragic, <coughs> tragic situation there at this time. So we continue to exalt you, Jesus, over the Ukraine and over uh, the nation of Russia as well. Now, one of the things this month in terms of prayer that I believe God was saying to us is is the third week of the month we've normally prayed on a Wednesday night. It's been a Zoom call more recently, but I felt God say that we need to shift that onto a Friday evening and, and make it a bit later in the evening. And for, for Horsham and Crawley, it'll be 10 p.m. to 2 a.m., a flow of worship and prayer for four hours. You can come and dip in at any point to that or come to the whole thing, but a flow of worship, encounter, prayer, prophetic intercession. And, and obviously what a great time to be doing that, to pray into this situation we've just, we've just been looking at, but other scenarios more closer to home in terms of people getting saved, things happening in our own communities and, and region and nation. And, and I kind of felt God say, I want you to press in a bit more uh, to me and into prayer. And so that's going to be in Horsham, for Horsham and Crawley in Foundry Lane, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. Burgess Hill, you guys are doing uh, the, the evening uh, where you meet together on Zoom for a bit, praying together. And then there's an individual one hour slots through the night where people are taking on those prayer times. <clears throat> and then you're going to meet in the morning just to kind of share what God's been saying, what you've been praying into so that we can see and expect what we're going to see as a result of the prayer. And then Worthing is going to be from seven till nine on that evening, uh, gathering people's homes to pray together. So kind of felt a bit of a shift, really pressing in prayer, pressing in worship. But let's, it's, it's not really about coming to a meeting. It's about gathering to pray God's purposes on earth as they are in heaven now we're going to continue in our roman series uh this month and unpacking that and what does that mean for us today living out the gospel living out what paul is teaching to the church in rome then what does that mean for us now today in our lives so let's really get plugged into that if, if you don't manage to uh, be around on a sunday then plug into that and what god is saying so that as a church we move forward together in what god is doing now we know church is all about community 
and about being the body of Christ, being the people of God together. So being around on Sunday is so, so important. Why don't we gather together, be together, whichever congregation you're in. If it's meeting in a building together, then 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 really make every effort to be there. If it's church in the home, make the most of that and connect with others in homes and let's share life, do life. Let's move forward together in everything that God is doing at this time. Uh, so that we can all be on the same page in terms of what God is doing and saying. So looking forward to uh, what God's going to be unfolding during this month in the life of the church. Uh, freedom is uh, is beginning. Some of you who are new to the church might think, well, I've done freedom in Christ and I've done other freedom things. Uh, this this uh, course that we do uh, in the life of the church is very unique, very different. And uh, I want to encourage you, if you're new to the church, uh, or you've not, or you've not been through freedom and you're in the church, I want to encourage you, connect into a freedom small group and then be part of the freedom encounter 12 or 13 weeks down the line. And God's going to do some phenomenal stuff in the life, uh, 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 in your life as part of the life of the church. I just want to encourage you to so check out freedom on the website and you can uh, see how you can really be part of that and what God wants to do in you. It also helps to build community as you share in a small group context with others, what God is doing and saying in your life through the material that we use for freedom. And then then the amazing thing that God's going to do through the encounter on a Friday night and a Saturday towards the, the right at the end of that time. So connect into freedom. If you're not in a small group, really want to encourage you, find out what small groups there are in your congregation and get plugged in. Again, it's relationship with purpose. Small groups are community sharing life together around a purpose every small group has a purpose why it exists what it is for so that we can grow as disciples we can become more fruitful in our lives and share our lives together going forward small groups very much they're not all about meeting in homes but some are and just helping us to understand what God wants to do amongst us in our homes so that our homes become a place in our communities in our streets where we're inviting the presence of God in because your home in your street might be the only one that has the presence of God in it because you're born again. And what a great opportunity to reach out to others. Maybe just invite them around for a coffee. Maybe invite people around for dinner. Maybe just be praying and saying, God, how can I invite neighbours and friends in my street, in my community, into my home Uh, and they can begin to experience you just simply as you build relationship and have dinner and see where God might want to take that friendship as you look to see people's lives impacted through your life. So be blessed. Have a great March. We're praying for you guys and that we move together as a church in all that God wants to do. Bless you.